Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we will be doing Creeper Infiltration. It is a level 15 mission that happens in the Pigman Ravines. This is one of our only interaction with Creepers in the game. Funny enough, very very interesting. And we start the mission at negative 608, negative 1431. It is hidden deep in the Pigman Ravines. Um, it is very hard to get into, but if you once you enter in from Ragni, just hold left. Take all the main roads to the left, and you should find your way here. Alright, so now we're just going to go ahead and get started. Talk to Thomas over here. We can go ahead and go through his dialogue. And we're going to go discover the first creeper in the game. Which is very interesting, because they are very well known in Minecraft for being, you know, the explosive, very sneaky mobs that they are. And in this game, they just... What we're about to find out. So we're just gonna head on over. I would would recommend using a horse if you have one. Just going through this, take your first right. It is very helpful to have a horse. And we're gonna follow the green trails here, right here as they are on the ground. We go up up into the cave. Nice. There we go. We go through the teleporter. And I think that sometimes glitches out. You should. Oh. Wait, there we go, the scared creeper. This is our first interaction with a creeper in the game. It blows the sky high. And we land here and we grab the creeper skin. Don't forget to grab the, cre the creeper skin because otherwise you'll have to go back and go through that whole interaction again. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and come here, talk to Thomas with the creeper skin. He didn't expect us to fall out of the sky. Talk to him all the way. Perfect. Now we have to go retrieve one pigman hide from the pigman overlord. This is again, we have to travel through the ravines. Do grab a horse if you have one. We're gonna head outside, but instead of taking a right after the waterfall, we're gonna keep left here, then take a right once we hit this boulder or so here, and we go straight down and right here where the beacon is. We have to kill the overlord. So we really don't have to worry about anyone else as long as we get this guy. And there we are. Let me get some other ones for the XP. Level up a little bit. Oh, another one. Alrighty, so now we're coming back here. We just have to walk away back. And we have to return to Thomas. Alright, let's go talk to Thomas. How is it going? Perfect, now we go and we buy the creeper mask from the creeper merchant that is in here. We buy the creeper mask. You will need the creeper mask for later missions. So keep the creeper mask. None of the other masks in that shop are needed except for the creeper mask because you will need to enter the creeper hideout again. So we're gonna put the creeper mask on us. We're gonna get on our horse. We actually don't need to wear it right now and I'll let you know when we do need to wear it. We exit this way, the normal way. We take a left at the first one, again to the right, just as if we were going to the overlord. And once we reach that hideout, we go over to the left and we reach the hide, the creeper hideout here. We enter and this is where it will not let you enter without the creeper mask. So we go ahead and go in. And as you can see in chat, it says there's a mythical aura coming from this cave because we have the helmet and it allowed us to go in. We do the parkour. Alrighty. And once we reach here, this is very important. Do not kill the creeper follower. Just walk slowly. Don't do any damage and let it follow you. It will not damage you and you need it to open the cave at the bottom. So we're just going to walk with it here. We're going to walk with it here and it opens up the door for us. And the creepers are actually dormant creatures. We have to grab one of the creeper powders. You don't need more. And we're just going to go ahead and head out. Oh, there we go. And now we have to head all the way back to Thomas. Here we go. <clears throat> okay, here we are. We're back in the ravine village. We go over to Thomas. We show him the powder, show him the, the proof. 
and he finds it very interesting and voila just like that we've beaten the mission alrighty and popping over here to the wiki we have the mission creeper infiltration it is a medium level 15 quest taking place in the pigment ravines it is one of the more annoying missions to get to because the ravines especially when you first start to go through them are a bit annoying to traverse but it's actually just a lot of walking back and forth. so we first begin by talking to thomas in the pigment ravines he says oh finally someone has come to hidden village i am thomas i help manage the supplies for the village however we're running low on ravine grains which is our main staple we use for our food we usually get it ourselves but recently an angry group group of pigmen took over the tunnel to the top of the ravine where the grain grows the last time we entered i heard an explosion from the top i fear the pigmen are blowing our grain supply with tnt you appear to be much stronger than i am so maybe you can get past the tunnel pigmen and eliminate the explosives at the top just keep to the right wall of the ravine and so we go in we avoid the mobs in the tunnel and we go out and we see the scared creeper we bring back the creeper skin to thomas and he says I didn't expect you to fall out of the sky like that. Are you okay or should I get the potion merchant to heal you? You're fine? Oh, good to hear. Did you manage to get rid of the pigmen and their explosives? A green creature? A creeper? No such thing exists in this world, especially with the pigmen all around. Oh, you brought a piece of the skin back. How odd, I've seen the skin before. There's a large cave over to the south. I tried to enter it, but I got ambushed by green creatures. I thought I was just dreaming. But these creepers you talk about, they might live in that cave. I have an idea. I need to know for sure that they live there. A merchant can make your mask with a skin and another material. There's a pigment overlord that's, that hangs in a cave nearby. If you can kill it, the, you can get a pigment hide strong enough to make the mask. So we go ahead, we grab the pigment hide from the overlord, and we return it to Thomas. I see you have the hide. The skin will work perfectly for my plan. There is a mask merchant in this village. He can make you a mask with the two materials I have. With the mask, you can put it on and go undetected into the cave with these creepers. Only then, we will know the truth. To get to the creeper cave, follow the western path and turn left at the pigmen camps. Also, if you somehow lose the mask, the merchant can make you another one if you bring him another piece of skin and hide. Here are the materials. Be careful out there. Who knows what those green monsters could do to you. So we buy the creeper mask, we go in, we grab the creeper powder, making sure that the creeper followers comes and blows up the wall for us. We bring it back to Thomas. <clears throat> what was in the cave were there were there really creepers in there what's this it smells like gunpowder but more earthy and this came from the cave this powder is definitely not native to this area it has to have come from those creepers i guess for now we'll leave them at peace if they do exist they don't need to be hunted down to extinction besides if they are composed of gunpowder they could easily blow this ravine to pieces thank you for your help i guess you deserve some sort of reward considering you helped solve the ravine's big mystery Feel free to come back to our village at any time. By then, our food supply should be stable. So, and if we go back up, our reward for completing the mission is 1,400 experience points, which is much larger, especially than the last mission that we've done. 64 emeralds and a creeper mask, which is very nice. Now, you can make it again, like Thomas told us. You, all you have to do is grab the pigment over lower tide and go back up to do the cutscene with the scared creeper you'll be able to get both items to make the creeper mask but it's a lot easier just to keep it into your ender chest or even on your person if you really want to and you're perfectly fine doing that so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that wiki Alrighty, i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to watch the one before the one after hey and if you're watching all the to the end please do like and subscribe any subscriber is a milestone and any like is a gift thank you guys so much hope you all have a good one